gone for a long time. Um, I'm just going to make a little video, a garden tour, what we've been up to this summer in the garden and um, just talk a little bit about what I've been doing, why I haven't been able to make a video but I'm hoping to get back into it shortly and especially as Christmas is coming up and I just wanted to also wish everyone who um, has watched Little Homestead or participated in some way or liked one of my videos, I just appreciate that so much, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the recipes that I've uh, made videos for and just happy Thanksgiving to any American viewers out there. Um, it just feels good to be able to start making videos again. And I hope you enjoy this tour of the garden. God bless. Bye for now. I'm just making a little video because I haven't made one for so long. So I thought I'd just do a little tour of the garden and how pretty and flowering and lovely everything's looking. I've been planting out some tomato plants this morning. I've got little apples growing here on the Cox's orange pippin tree. And for the first time ever, after waiting seven years, we've got little pears growing on the Doin Camise pear tree. That is such a treat, and there's quite a few of them too. And my husband's been mowing the grass today. And I planted out some lettuces here and I need to pick these beautiful blue cornflowers because I put them on my soaps. And then this year we've even got a purple one which I've never seen before. That's very exciting. So I just, I'm not planting quite as many vegetables this year. So I've got some tomatoes growing. These are looking a little bit droopy since they were just put in this morning. And the beans are looking even sadder over the back there. And this is a beautiful rose geranium bush. It's one of my favourite. I love to just walk past it and smell the leaves. Just divine. And the rhubarb is just looking magnificent this year. I'm always not quite sure what to do with the rhubarb because you have to add so much sugar and I try not to have too much sugar in my diet. Just wanted to show you the lovely plums on this plum tree. I've forgotten what the name of this one is but it grows plums that are so big. They're kind of like um, the size of a small apple and they're really sweet and juicy and this is the orange tree. So we've still got quite a lot of oranges here. I need to pick a whole lot more because my husband takes them in his lunches. And then over here is a really pretty wild rose bush. It's huge. And these little wee roses, they have really delicate scent. And I love to um, put a few in a little vase just in a small room like bathroom or in the toilet or something. It's a quite a large bush. It's actually been trimmed down many times and it just continues to grow back. And then this week I planted quite a large lilac bush. I wanted one for years. So I was able to get this big one and I've got another little one here. And then down here is where I was working today. So I'll just take you down here. So this is a fig tree which um, I planted probably about two or three years ago. So this year we're finally going to get um, some figs. They had been sort of growing the fruit too late in the season and then the weather would start to get cold. But um, it grows really well, it loves it down here. And then this big jumble is just some raspberries that I had planted a couple of years ago. It's got masses of, masses of raspberries on it. So I'm hoping I'll get some this year before the birds do. And then here I've got a little mandarin tree. It's got a lot of little fruit growing on it, just starting. But um, 
I don't think it's that healthy. I need to give it some citrus food or something. Now down the back here is where I normally plant tomatoes because it's right beside the shed which is actually belongs to the church and it just gets really hot and the tomatoes love it there. But we've also got an old fashioned um, variety apple tree. This is a sturma and it just makes the most wonderful apple pies. I love a tart apple. Um, and so this tree's just got quite big now and it's shading the garden a little bit. So um, about two years ago I just dug up another little area down here and made another little garden bed. And I tried this method of gardening. It was It's called the Three Sisters. Um, I think it's some sort of Native American garden and you plant, oh there's a, there's a bee, oh he's just, he's, he's my, one of my comfrey plants, he's a bee, I just left it there, I was going to dig it out and I thought no it's so good for the garden I'm just going to leave it. So I was planting some more little tomatoes down here and then there's some little self seeded pumpkins, these are heritage heirloom seeds down here that have just self seeded and then we've got some uh, this is one of our Fijoa trees I planted and then there's another apple tree down the back there that's a golden delicious and over there you can see flowering is a lovely elderflower it's got a lot of flowers I did a little up. I did. I wrote a little note on my YouTube channel, and I don't know if anybody actually saw it. But I said one of the reasons that I haven't been on is because my dad had a heart attack um, on Tuesday. He's 79. It's his second um, heart attack and we've been up and down at the hospital with him he's sort of doing all right now and the specialist going to um see him on monday our uh, tuesday and do a um whatever that test is where they put the dye in their veins and, and check um to see if there's any blockages so he's actually hoping that they'll find something and that um yeah, and that he'll get some help and whether or not they decide to put in a pacemaker or something. Um, yeah, so if anybody watches this video and wants to just pray for my dad, Ray, that would be wonderful. And I'm just down here by another one of our fruit trees. This little fruit tree is, is sort of, it's been here for a number of years now. Please ignore all the weeds underneath. I just haven't got around to this garden. And it's normally completely laden, but I think um, it just outdid itself last year. I think it's just having a bit of a rest this year. But these ones are lovely for bottling. But it doesn't look like I'll be doing so much this year because there's just not as much fruit. And that's all right. And there's another Fijoa tree. So this is the flowers that are just about to open. And I love the Fijoa. I don't know if in America if you have these or not um, but they have a wonderful um, here's another elder, elder flower tree they have a wonderful um, the Fijoa tastes it's almost sort of perfumey I didn't like it when I was a child we moved up to the North Island um, but I love it now as an adult and I like to preserve a few bottle a few in the when I get a chance. Now down here I'm just um, by another one of our plum trees. This is a green gauge. I don't know if everyone's familiar with green gauges but they have yellow flesh on the inside and they're very very sweet and juicy and I never get that many because the birds get a lot of them and a lot of the fruit's growing up high so I should have pruned it more when it was younger. And then over here we have a peachicot tree and um, a lot of the fruit actually grows on the roadside and kids that walk past pick it all so we never get that much of it but these are beautiful it's a cross between a peach and an apricot 
and then here in the middle we have an apricot tree which has got quite a bit of fruit on it this year I'm probably zooming in too close and it's just a big blur this branch this branch has got a lot of apricots on it so this is a, a really lovely juicy eating apricot but like other trees a lot of the fruit is growing way up high and so the birds tend to get more than we do so I hope some of these branches that are a bit lower will produce fruit also um, so trying to think oh yes and other things I've just been working in my soap room I've been just packaging orders I've been making lotion um, I've been making foaming bath whips and just doing a whole lot of things like that and also we're just sanding this side of the house it just needs to be painted there's just some hydrangeas that are about to start flowering okay well that's about all for now everyone I hope you enjoyed um, this tour of my garden I just wanted to do a little catch up with you all while I had the chance. Bye for now.